Welcome to the Gospel Road. We're going to look at Matthew 28 today. So let's go ahead and get started with that. It says, Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled, became ill like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. And he said, Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people his disciples came by night and stole him stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money, did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. But some doubted, and Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew 28. That's what we're looking at today. I'm going to focus a little bit there in 18 to 20. Where it says, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. I have to say, For me, that's very comforting, especially in the world that we're dealing with right now. At the same time, talk about government cover-up. Earlier in the passage, when they paid the guards to give a completely different story, no, Jesus hasn't risen. He was stolen. He was, his body was kidnapped while you were sleeping. Hmm, do we not hear about government cover-up today in different things? Wondering if they're telling us the truth. I'm not trying to make this a political thing, by no means. But this is just where it always comes down to where the Bible tells us to confirm and verify. So you're told a story. You need to confirm that story and then verify that that story is true before you just run willy-nilly with it, which we seem to be doing a lot lately. We have been for years, but even more so for a while. And then if a person has a question, has a doubt, wants to confirm and verify, they're bad. We're seeing that. We are so split right now. So for me, 
For Jesus to tell me that he is with me always until the end of the age, thank you. Again, you've been following me for a long time. Many that have been listening to this podcast and episodes for years. You know kind of where I stand, my beliefs. And I know I need to hear words like that. Again, we are so split. I just watched Injustice, a new DC movie. Yes, cartoons. (laughs) Justice League. Batman, Superman. And I was actually been talking with a friend of mine. And he had seen it a few weeks back, and he actually rewatched it this past week because he fell asleep the first time, so he kind of missed most of it. So now it was his opportunity to uh, actually watch it again. So he did. Now, then I did. And it was way close to home for me with things that we're dealing with and what's happening right now in the world. Because... A tragedy happened to Superman, which then changed him, which then basically turned him into a tyrant. The whole what I say goes, you know, the whole my way or the highway, we hear that all the time. But that's not the way we need to live. That's not the way we should live because we're supposed to be able to have conversation, which And unfortunately, we are individuals, and that doesn't always work because everybody would rather fight or disagree than finding a common ground to have a conversation. I mean, I see it all the time. I have conversations about it all the time. Again, this is nothing to do with Democrat or Republican, liberal, conservative. I don't really care because I know for me, I've said it before, I don't take a side. Because there's not really a side that I can agree on 100% or agree with 100%. There's bits and pieces from either side. But when you have them trying to turn people against each other, there needs to be something to lean on. Jesus, I am with you always to the end of the age. There's a gentleman that I follow on TikTok. I need to stop. But I started because he's a voiceover artist. And I follow a lot of them just because it can help me and helps me grow. I mean, that's how you really learn to, to be better, to, to hone the craft that you have, to hone the talent that you have, to find pieces to help you build, to be better at what you're doing, to learn more. And, and of course, you all know, we've talked about it, I, I, I'm a sponge. I sit here and, and I watch And, I mean, come on, I was a kid and I was watching documentaries. Who watches documentaries as a child? I did. Learned so much about history and... It was was just very good. Good for me. But, as we're doing these things... There needs to be some comfort coming from somewhere. But I'm talking about this guy that I'm following. And man, I guess at one point he was a Republican and now he's a Democrat. And so now he's just completely bashing on Republicans. To me, I watch it and it bothers me. Which to me, if it kind of starts to infuriate me, that calls hate speech. Yes, I said hate speech. And that's not what we're supposed to be doing or sharing. In fact, what the funny thing is, you have them talking about hate speech and disavowing it, but yet they seem to be doing it all the time. What's funny is, I have friends that are Democrat and I have friends that are Republicans, and we've both had this conversation that that's what they do. It's like they're spreading hate. Jesus said, I am with you always until the end of the age.
You know, it's that whole do as I say and as I do. We are going to talk against this. This is bad. But that's how we're going to act and react. And that's how we're going to be. That's not cool. It's not good. It's very bad. But it's what they do. You know, we have to find that common ground that we agree on, that we can have that conversation with to be the best that we can be, to, to really help each other be, the better, be better people. But that's not where we go. We go straight for the jugular, to tear someone down, to tell them how wrong they are. No, that's not love. You know, the Bible says they're going to know we are Christians by our love, but I'm not seeing lots of love out there, especially coming from Christians. It's just, it's, it's depressing. It's upsetting. Sometimes I don't know where to go with it, what to, to, to do with it. Because I can't wrap my mind around it. I try to do the best that I can, but I fail. I do. I do fail. And then I see things like this and I just... I'm at a loss. What do I do? Where do I go? You know, the passage here in Matthew 28, it's it's the Great Commission to go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But are we loving them to make them disciples? Are we loving them to allow the Holy Spirit to enter into their life, to to plant that seed and let that seed grow? No, we're fighting one another. We're telling stories. like the guard going out and telling a story because they don't want to know what really happened they don't want to know the truth they are wanting to hide behind the truth because they're afraid the truth would get them in trouble but then we hear the truth can set you free Matthew 28. Read that today. How does it help you to be that better person? How does it help you to help someone else be better? You know, again, we need to be better today than yesterday. Better tomorrow than today. We're, we are growing every day. We should be growing. We should be learning every day. Kind of like I, I put my word of the day out every day on social media. You know, it's just a, one simple word. But... We're learning something different. But at the same time, while you're learning, you need to be able to understand how to put all that together. Sometimes we're not able to do that. Again, I've said it many times as we watch the media, you can't watch one story and run with that. You have to watch many different pieces and then try and put it together. It's very exhausting to try and come up with some piece of truth that you can try to confirm and verify. They try to do it. They try to make it almost impossible. It's not easy. Then you have a brain like mine who just gets confused. Who gets overwhelmed, who gets exhausted. And certainly does not want to deal with it. 
Because I cannot have an intelligent conversation with anyone about it. Or at least with very few people. Because you have the lunatics on the right. You have the lunatics on the left. And neither one is willing to have a conversation. Because it's their way or the highway. You listen to what I say because I am right and you're wrong. Doesn't matter. That is what we're dealing with today. And it's not just today. It's been that way for years. Thousands of years. This isn't new. Isn't it funny how over centuries we have not changed a bit. We are still the same. Still argue over pettiness. Still trying to take the power over one another. Like I said, this goes back centuries. We're not dealing with anything new today than 6,000 years ago. Nothing new. This is it. Crazy, huh? Just different players in the game. That's all it is. Different people in authority. Matthew 28, as I say every every time we chat, read it for yourself. How does it help you? How can it help you grow to be a better person? Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this, be sure to share it on social media. Also, give me a rating on the platform that you listen to this. That always helps. I appreciate it. Thank you again so much for listening. You can always follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, yes, Snapchat. Well, that one's a different one, but the other one's uh, my buddy Jimmy. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, my buddy Jimmy. You can also find me on YouTube at mybuddyjimmy101. Follow my word of the days, follow my other podcasts that I do and other things that I share. You can also... Catch a lot of it on my website, too, at mybuddyjimmy.com. See what I'm doing with my different jobs. But I appreciate it. Thank you for listening to The Gospel Road. Have a great day. God bless. Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at spinaltuning.com. If you're looking for help with software, app, web development, be sure to check out my friends at IngenuityCompany.com. They believe in their clients. Software development, app development, web development, visioning, design thinking, diagramming, organizational development, strategy, they can help you at the Ingenuity Company. Find out more at IngenuityCompany.com. Barbecue provided by Kenny's Rib Wagon. Catering ribs for your pleasure and serving daily at Plaza Pub, 62nd and Douglas in Des Moines, across from Merle Hay Mall. Find Kenny's Rib Wagon on Facebook. The Jimmy Olsen Radio Network.